If you're gonna take a lighter into the woods, and you definitely should, add some extra gear to it so it can be helpful and maybe even save your life. Let's take a look at the different items in this kit. It probably goes without saying, but to make a lighter kit, you need a lighter. You can see I've got a red lighter here. You can also see just popping out there, it says Bic. If you're gonna pick any lighter, I would recommend a Bic lighter. They just have a great track record when it comes to outdoor gear and bringing the lighter. That's the one I go with all the time. Now, beyond choosing Bic as a company, you can see I chose a red lighter. You can find Bic lighters in blaze orange, but they're pretty hard to locate. That being said, I would just recommend a brighter color. So red, bright blue, yellow. I don't recommend camouflage or black, obviously, because if you drop your lighter on the ground, you may lose it just because you can't find it again. So I would always start with a Bic lighter and a bright colored one at that. My Bic lighter is in an Exotac fire sleeve. It's blaze orange, it's got a loop on the bottom. It's got a loop on the top here. The cap comes off, cap goes back on like this. For extra protection, if you want, you could put a zip tie through the top loop, through the bottom loop, and then secure it back up at the top level. And that'll keep the top from definitely falling off. The challenge is, if you have to access the lighter, you gotta have a way to get that zip tie off. But the Fire Sleeve is a great product from Exotac. Not only does it keep your Bic lighter safe, it keeps it covered so you can't accidentally bump the little switch there and then lose the, uh, lose the fuel. Also, because it is a container, I actually have some of my survival items inside the fire sleeve. Up at the top here, you can see I've got this little piece of cordage. This is a zipper pull from Exotac, and inside the zipper pull is a highly flammable piece of cordage. So between the lighter and this piece of cordage, you can just burn it by itself. But if you take out that center piece, you have something that's even more flammable, which will help you get your fire started. You probably know this already, but fire is one of the most important tools when you're out in the woods. So you can signal with it, you can get warm with it, you can help to clean up some water if you've got something like a, a bowl or a pot, something that you can boil water in. So great to have a way to start a fire. You've got your lighter and now you've got this extra bit of uh, accelerant built into this pull tab. Now around the top here, you can see kind of a yellowish cordage. I put Kevlar cordage on mine. I've got about 35 feet on this, and it's just a very durable cordage. It's also very thin. Let me show you right here. I mean, that's a very thin piece of cordage. So while it's not as small as fishing line, it is thin and small enough that you could use it without it basically taking up a ton of space. And you can very easily wrap it around. And then I just tucked it in. You can see where one end is, and then the other end on the other side and just basically crank it back, and now that's secure on the top. The fire sleeve lid also has little grooves built in, and so I started by putting the Kevlar cordage into those grooves as I wrapped it around. Moving down, you can see I've got some black Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape is my go-to in the outdoors. I do like 3M tape, but Gorilla Tape I think is the best out there. Um, you can use it to repair things, you can use it for medical purposes. Not the greatest to be a long-term Band-Aid, but in an emergency, you can use it to cover up a wound. Um, also, if you light Gorilla Tape, it'll burn really nicely as well. So Gorilla Tape. Now you can see also underneath, I've got some tin foil peeking out there. So here's what I did. I took some tin foil, about a six by six square like this. I folded it in half like this, and then I put some items inside and then closed it up, sealed it off, wrapped it around the fire sleeve, and then put the Gorilla Tape on top of it. What did I put inside? Great question. I put some of these. They're lures from the Grim Workshop lure card. And that combined with some hooks from Grimm Workshop. And these things together make an awesome little fishing kit. And so I took some of the hooks off from here, some of the lures off from here, put them inside the tin foil. And then when you wrap it up and put it around there, it's nice and secure inside. I've seen some people put their items in very small plastic bags and then put it on the back of the Gorilla Tape. But for me, I found that the Gorilla Tape is so sticky when I try to move the bags or open them, it can just tear open. And so this allows me to have these things secure and not touching directly on the back of the Gorilla Tape. Another thing I put inside the aluminum foil is some of this. This is Spartan Fire. You can see it's only about probably three quarters of an inch by an inch and a half or so. And this is another fire starter. So it's very thin. I mean, it's literally paper thin, as you can see. And it's got um, some sort of accelerant that's kind of impregnated into it. And uh, you can use it for a variety of purposes because it's kind of oily. You can use it for anything that needs, like if you got a knife, say, out in the woods and you need to put some oil, say, in the pivot, you could do that. 
But the idea here is you'll tear little strips off, you'll fluff it up, hit it with a, a spark or your lighter, obviously, the flame from your lighter, and it'll get things going. If you've never heard of it before, I highly recommend Spartan Fire. And a great thing is you can cut a piece as big as a credit card and put it in your wallet so you've always got a fire starter with you. There's a look at one of the standard hooks from the Grim Workshop. Here's one of their double hooks attached to one of their lures. There's a little hole in the front you can punch out, you put your line through there, and now you've got this lure going through the water when you're fishing. Pretty cool. Moving further down the fire sleeve, I've got two ranger bands wrapped around fishing line. And I use just basic 15 pound fishing line. I didn't get the fancy braided kind. You can certainly do that. It is a bit thicker. So this is a little bit thinner. So I've got about 50 feet of line there. And also underneath there, I've got some aqua tabs. Aqua tabs are a great way to treat your water. And you might look at that and say, yeah, but you don't have a container. Well, my experience is out in the woods, I almost always can find an empty beer bottle, an old can, something like that that I could use as a container and now I've got a way to treat some water. You could also use something like potable aqua tabs in your kit if you wanted to do that, if you didn't have any of these particular ones, but just be careful because those ones can get crushed really easy. These ones are in basically a tiny bit of paper at least to keep them a little bit safer. So I just popped the lighter out of the fire sleeve and I wanna show you down inside the fire sleeve, I've got a few more fishing hooks. So I have some fishing hooks that I wrapped inside the tin foil, which is underneath the Gorilla Tape. And I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four more right there. I don't know about you, but when I go fishing, if there's any kind of lily pads or something, it's pretty likely I'm gonna lose lures or hooks. And so I wanna have a couple different options. Note also that if I have hooks, even if I don't use the lures, I can probably find a grub or a worm or something like that to fish with. So these were down inside the fire sleeve. Now, if you wanna see me test out that Bic Lighter Survival Kit, click on this video here because I took it out into the woods and put it through the paces. See you in the next video.